Museum, and here they have some replicas of Tycho's actual instruments. Okay, this is a quadrant. It is used for measuring the altitude and direction of a star. Kind of like a big turnable giant protractor. This wheel shows altitude. This shows direction. The thing, this arm here pivots and you can sight like that on a star. It pivots there and up there. So this thing can then be turned and the altitude and direction or what was called the altitude and azimuth of any star can be measured to high precision. This uh, uh, degree line here, degree uh, measuring wheel is marked out with very great precision. This is the sextant. The ball lets you aim it and point it in different directions. Again, you see like a big protractor. And then you have different siding devices along here and then others here and here. This would allow you to, for example, measure the angle between two different stars. So the other thing would give, give you a reading of how far north or south something was. This would probably allow you to me make a measurement in between things. I've never used one before. <laughs> so I, I, and I've not read a manual on how to use, nobody uses these instruments for a very, very long time, but that's my guessing. Here's a small sextant that you can actually mess with and you can see how you would m move it and then sight along it. And then as you sighted, you could read the angle off of the measuring line or measuring uh, degree, uh, what we call a protractor, the degrees line. Again, very much like a, like a large protractor. Here's something I didn't know about, and that is that Tycho Brahe's sister was also very much into science and did a variety of different kinds of scientific work. These things are all written in Swedish, I don't, so I don't know exactly what, they're, what they are saying. But I believe this is all his sister's writings and works here, or samples of those things.